What's going on, everybody? It's your boy Jay coming at your Splatter Talk Cinema Review. And I'm doing something a little different. I'm doing it for convenience so you guys can actually have me in your pockets, have me on your radios whenever you're going to work, have me in your earbuds or your headphones so you can listen to the horror news coming from Splatter Talk. With that being said, go ahead and hit that intro real quick. Ladies and gentlemen, I have seen different influential YouTubers in the horror genre cover this story. I haven't covered this story yet just because I wanted to hear the takes of different YouTubers just to see what they thought about this whole situation. And what situation am I talking about? I am talking about the bloody disgusting article written by John Squires on June 20th, 2022, saying that Jason Blum believes he could get Robert England to play Freddy Krueger one more time. So I am going to read a little bit from this article and then we're going to come back and we're going to unpack this. So Jason Blum has made it clear many times over the years that he'd love to bring the Nightmare on Elm Street and Friday the 13th franchises into the Blum House family alongside Halloween and The Exorcist, which is certainly always a possibility in the future. The Friday rights are still tangled up in legal mess, of course. But what's the latest on the Elm Street franchise? Speaking with Screen Rant while promoting The Black Phone last week, Jason Blum indicated that if Blumhouse is able to get into bed with Freddy, no pun intended, he's confident he'd be able to get Robert England back to play the Dream Demon one more time. This despite England saying several times in recent years that his days of donning the makeup are probably behind him. Quote, I could make him come back. Unquote. Bloom tells that to Screen Rant. I could get anyone back. Ellen Burstyn was 87. I got her back in the upcoming sequel to The Exorcist. 75? He's young, Blum continued, referring to Robert England. All right, let's unpack this a little bit. Jason Blum believes that he could get Robert England to come back and play Freddy. He believes that he can bring a 75-year-old Robert England back to the makeup chair four hours of applying makeup every single day just so that it appeases the fans. Don't get me wrong. Like I said before, I love the Nightmare on Elm Street franchise. I love Robert England donning the glove and the red and green sweater. I was completely against the remake, even though I went to the movies to give it a chance because it had the Nightmare on Elm Street name attached to it, but it didn't work. And I don't believe a requel, remake, reboot, whatever Blumhouse wants to do, I don't think that would work either with Robert England donning the glove. I don't think that could happen. And the reason why I don't think that could happen, it's not just his age, it's the physicality of the role. It's how long is going to be needed for Robert England to be in the makeup. I could see if it was just one day of shooting, like, you know, Freddy's Nightmares, where he would just do all of his scenes in one day and he wouldn't have to worry about that. But no, this is going to be a big motion picture because if you look at the Halloween movies, the Halloween movies was no holes barred. It was very good. And I mean, I know they got um, the original shape to come back and play him again, but they have been very candid on saying that he's not always behind the mask. There is another person that is behind the mask. So if you wanted to do that, you could potentially get Robert England putting the makeup on the close up shots that you would want of him get those but with the physicality of the role that would have to be someone else because a 75 year old i don't care how in shape he is a 75 year old is not going to be able to pull off what he was pulling off in freddy versus jason he's not going to be able to do that talking to my brother rick i was actually telling him that robert england should come back to the nightmare on elm street franchise but in a different way I think Robert England should don the type of role that is the antagonist. He's not Freddy, 
but he is an antagonist that's willing to help. He knows what's going on with the children. So he does, he conducts different experiments trying to get these kids to fall asleep in order to do more study on the dream demon. He knows all about it and he's setting these kids up for failure. I would like that to happen, but if he was going to do anything that resembled him coming to the role of Freddy Krueger, I believe that it should all be computer generated, except for the close-ups of his face. I believe everything else should be computer generated. If you want Robert England's mannerisms, if you want his look, if you want his sound and everything, CG is the way to go. Put somebody in a motion capture suit, have them spend time with Robert England, getting the mannerisms down on how the glove is too heavy so he leans to the right a little bit, everything. And I know one guy that could do that, Paul Bailey. I always champion this dude because of the uh, shorts that he put on YouTube. They are great. If you haven't seen any of the shorts, I'm going to put a link to his shorts down in the description. So um, I believe he would be able to play the physical role of Freddy. But Robert England, not so much. Also, my gripe about the whole situation, Robert England other than being old, it says it in the title. They want him to come back and play him one more time. One more time. So you mean to tell me that the kids that were growing up in the 80s that were put on to Freddy, they hear about another Freddy tale and they get their hopes up because they think that there could be another franchise, an another set of movies. One more time? You get Robert England in that role, then we're gonna be right back at the drawing board after it hits the theaters. It'll make a hell of a lot in the box office and then we'll be talking about a sequel. And at that point, Robert England would be 78, 79 because we're not rolling the cameras right now at 75. We would be in negotiations and the negotiations and the pre-production and script writing and everything, he is going to be 76 going to 77 when that's all said and done so roll cameras at 77 years old putting him in this damn makeup chair it's not going to work we need somebody with some longevity we need a young actor to portray freddy krueger just for the simple fact that we want more as a freddy fan I, i'll speak for myself i want more if you make one movie I want several. And the way Blumhouse is doing Halloween, this movie could be a blockbuster. And I'm not talking about, you know, MCU type of blockbuster, but I'm talking horror blockbuster. Freddy versus Jason, it could make more than that, but you gotta do it right. You can't just say, yeah, we want Robert England back for nostalgic purposes, only to be in the same type of rut that you would be in coming on a sequel. You can't do that. And I mean, I know a lot of people and I see it on different social media. I see people saying, nobody can play the role like Robert England. Jackie Earl Haley wasn't good as Freddy. Nobody could play the role. Kevin Bacon would be great as Freddy. Kevin Bacon's in his 60s. We're gonna be back at the same situation with him too five ten years down the road we want more and we want somebody to fulfill this role that can give us more put robert england in there as a cameo i remember when i went to monster mania in 2019 and i actually got to meet robert england in person and during the q a i was front row and i asked him the question would he turn it down if he was able to get a role in a remake of a nightmare on elm street but it wasn't freddy so i'm gonna put the link to that video because it's right here on splatter talk i'm gonna put the link to that video in the description below but I just don't see this happening. I don't see Robert England coming back. He is doing a great job on the convention circuit. He was actually just in an episode of Stranger Things season four. He's doing the damn thing in Hollywood. I mean, for a 75 year old that was linked to this one role. I mean, don't get it twisted. You know, he was in V. This man has been in a lot of different things. And he's still 
in a lot of different things. Stranger Things just came out. He was in an episode of that. He's been in the Spy Kids series. He actually donned the makeup in the Goldbergs episode in 2018. And I go back and look at that and I'm like, no, I do not think he would be good in the role of Freddy Krueger. Even though he created everything that is about Freddy, now he would not be in it. He would, I just don't see it happening. But what I do see happening is CGI, motion capture, putting somebody in a motion capture suit, or even putting Robert England in that same motion capture suit, using CG to create Freddy Krueger. If anybody is an MCU fan and they went to go see Doctor Strange in the Multiverse of Madness, okay, I'm gonna give you a spoiler warning right now. If you haven't seen it, turn this off right now. But in Doctor Strange and the Multiverse of Madness, Wanda was coming after America Chavez and Doctor Strange at Carmotaj. And when she was coming after them, she was using the reflections, wherever reflections were, to try and get a beat on America Chavez. They covered up all the puddles on the floor, but what they didn't cover up was the gong. And the gong showed a reflection, and Wanda came out of the gong. But I want you to look at how she came out. That wasn't Elizabeth Olsen. That was CG. That was FX, that was a computer generated Wanda Maximoff. And the way she contorted her body, could you imagine Freddy Krueger doing the same thing? That's the stuff of nightmares. And also you can have Robert England doing the voiceover because he is not a stranger to voiceover. He was the scarecrow, the second video game Injustice, Injustice 2. If you go and look at clips, listen to the scarecrow. Why has Batman sent you? Because I'm his enforcer. Or you're expendable. That is Robert England. He is very good at voiceovers. So please use him as a voiceover. He wouldn't even have to do the physical work. The motion capture, the person in the motion capture would be able to do the physical work while he just sat back in a recliner telling us what we want to hear in the movie. That's a great idea. So what do you guys think about Robert England coming back and actually doing the Freddy Krueger role over again at age 75? I don't think it could be done, but hey, you might have a different perspective and a different take on if Robert England could get this done or not. If you do, leave it in the comments below. If you like this video, go ahead, give us a like. And if you actually like the format of the podcast, Tell us why down in the comments. If you're not subscribed to the channel, and I see that 70% of the people that watch our videos are not subscribed to our channel. So, if you're not subscribed, go ahead and hit that big red button and hit the bell so you don't miss anything Splatter Talk. And with that being said, we actually got an upcoming video coming out this Saturday. It's our tick commentary. So if you wanna go ahead and watch that, hit that subscribe button and the bell so that you don't miss the drop. With that being said, this is your boy, Jay Splatter Talk Cinema Review. It's a wrap.